Welcome back to Cards and Comics. Today I have another 90s box break. I have 1999 Upper Deck Encore. And uh, there's actually pack odds right on the box here. So I'm going to just kind of read them, show them. You know, sometimes it's hard to see them. So, but the big cards in here besides the, and there's a lot of inserts like, you know, Star Rookies, you know, there's a subset. Stroke of Genius, one in a Encore insert cards, one in 23. Driving Forces, uh, you see that, Driving Forces, one in 23. Pure Excitement, one in seven. Upper Realm, one in 11. 2K Countdown, one in 11. Mark McGuire inserts, one in 23. Uh, Encore Parallel inserts, number to 500. Uh, Driving Forces, Parallel inserts, limited edition, sequel number to 10. Uh, Tim McGuire parallel inserts number to 500 and then the UD autographs or authentics one to 288 and then FX parallel number to 125 which are kind of gold cards they're one in 750 so the gold card is actually pretty hard to pull and they're pretty cool looking cards um, they're actually not that expensive on the secondary market honestly um, the encore gold cards are pretty cool looking and they're a pretty cheap uh, insert uh, or, or parallel if you want to get something low numbered and not have to pay a ton of money. Now, the big chase in here was the Encore or the uh, autographs. And I actually have, this is a new pickup uh, for me. So I just got this in the mail uh, just the, you know last week. But I do have the Encore uh, Griffey from this set. So this is what the Griffey card looks like from this box. If you do pull it, it's this card right here, which I just got a 9510 uh, in the mail. Um, so this is a really cool card. Just picked it up. I'm very excited to add this to my Griffey collection. Um, and I got another Griffey 90s on card auto coming in the mail as well. So I am upping my game on my Griffey 90s on card autos. But we're going into this box of Encore. No box topper, right into the packs. Blue and black, uh, a lot of, a lot of uh, pretty thick little cards. So let's see if, if there doesn't look like there's any stickies. So, oh man, been back in the game and getting back into the groove of making videos and uh, doing these box breaks. Um, just really having a lot of fun opening products from the 90s. Um, you know, it's just, it's just a lot of fun. You know, I don't remember this product, honestly. You know, I, I remember Encore for for um, football had a you know, kind of a cool Peyton Manning rookie at one point. But yeah, nothing. Just I don't really remember this product, honestly. So um, don't hold it against me. This is me. It, it's like a basically it's it's like the regular upper deck set, just kind of in a um, on baseball card. Pete, it says chromium, but really it's foil board. This is just shiny foil board it's not metalized chrome like a finest card so there is that um and they have encore and they're shiny though so if you like shiny cards you got this so i got preston wilson this is one of the homer odyssey cards and it's mike piazza and again it's you can see the numbering on it so it's part of the regular set so i was just trying to get to it's not it's not an insert, it's just part of the regular base set. Mark Conce. Got Roberto Alomar. And I I think we got a miscut here. I mean, this card doesn't look great. Chipper Jones. I don't think it's supposed to have a bottom border. The Dante Bichette does. And so this is a pretty... And then the upper deck's cut off. So there is a really good, strong miscut right there. So that's pretty interesting. Maybe I'll put that in the interesting card pile at the end <laughs> to say, well, we may not get anything cool, but we got an interesting di uh, interesting uh, card there. And then the cards in the back are kind of a little stuck, not too bad. So Bichette, Jason Kendall, a cool pirate, and Dean Palmer. So that's what the cards look like. And here's what the backs look like for people who want to look at the backs. Again, this is based on the regular base or, um, base set uh, from 1999 Upper Deck. Kind of like a premium you know, version of that. And I think sometimes they stuck rookies in and, and all that to make it cool. So here's Brian Giles. So we got 
probably the two uh, pirates out of the way early in the box. There's David Wells. All right, our first Griffey hit. So that's cool. We got King Griffey Jr.'s base card. So we'll do we'll do the honors. We'll pit Mr. Griffey and a sleeve. That's pretty awesome to get the base Griffey. That's what I always want. Minimum in these products is to get the base Griffey. If I'm not going to hit anything else, can I at least get me a cool Griffey card to put in the collection? So there we go. There is the base Griffey. Um, yeah, it's such a weird card. I'm just going to keep it over here for now because it's just such an interesting card. Looks like I have an insert. The first, I think it's like the Y2K card. Uh, Travis Fryman and then yeah, Stroke of Genius and 2K. So it looks like there's two inserts. I think Stroke yeah, Stroke says 171 on it. So it looks like that is maybe a subset card. And that is Juan Gonzalez. There we go. Very shiny and foily. And this is uh, 2K Encore. And it is Alex Rodriguez. And again, it is number two, yeah, like, uh, look here, two, two, oh, two K stuff. So it actually is an insert. That's good. So this is, this is an insert. And uh, I think the um, stroke, maybe I'm looking at the number wrong. Nope, it's 171. So it's part of the base set, but it's kind of a subset. It looks really cool though. It's not numbered or anything. It's just a kind of a cool card. And then this card is is a is a insert. There you go. Again, very shiny, shiny cards there. So getting an auto is probably what you're gonna you know look for in this product and some of the low numbered um, inserts. So here is. Another A Rod card, and this is pure excitement. And again, very reminiscent of the base upper deck set, just shiny. Um, so, this again is another insert. So, our two inserts so far has been uh, A Rod. So, back in '99, this would have been really cool to have to be on the A Rod insert train. Today, it's not quite as cool, but he's still a good player. I just don't think he's ever going to get in. And uh, We're seeing more miscut cards. Look at that. Both Darren Erstead and Andrew Jones are miscut. So we can put our miscuts. Now that we have more than one, we can kind of keep our pile of misfit cards over here. So there's Trot Nixon. Kurt Schilling. Corey Koski and Tony Gwen. Very cool. Oh, that subset card, that circle gene. That's a really just a cool looking base card. Again, this is a very nice looking set. I just quality control again. 1999 wasn't that great. Still hasn't gotten better in uh, year 2024, right? Still seeing issues. All right, here we go. Jim Tome, Mike Messina, two really good players. Greg Vaughn. Again, sometimes the cards in the back of the pack are a little stucky or just a little bit stuck together. Um, just interesting that the two in the front never are stuck, but just the two in the back. Paul Canerco, nice horizontal card. There's Mark McGuire in 99. This would have been a cool card to pull. And then here is another inset. It's Jeff Bagwell. Encore Pure Excitement. I think the Pure Excitement's like one of six packs, so they're not really that hard to pull compared to the rest of the set here. All right. So you get a lot of inserts for sure. It's definitely a product that was again, this is this is what the evolution of the product of the hobby was, right? You know, you could take a product from 96 and 97 and you may get four or five inserts in the whole box. Here you're going to be getting a lot of inserts, maybe some number cards, maybe some auto. So 
you know, the boxes and everything just started to get more and more loaded as, you know, people realize it's just people were just chasing cards and chasing heads. Cool. Kinseiko, Devil Ray. That's a cool horizontal there. Some horizontal cards here. Ben Grieve, the obligatory Ben Grieve. I'm sure Travis Lee is not going to be too, too far away uh, as we always seem to pull Travis Lee, Vlad, um, and every product, Gary Sheffield, Tony Gwen, an encore rookie. Here we go. Who is this? Uh, looks like Derek Gibson. So Derek Gibson. So again, these encore rookies are pretty awesome looking. Honestly, they are a nice looking card. This one's got a little bit of stuff up there, but again, part of the base set. They feel thicker too. I don't know. It's just this one card, but. Really nice looking cards. I mean, honestly, if there would have been any cool rookies in this product, this that would have been awesome to to pull that card for sure. Still, design wise, a nice product. Again, Upper Deck does make very very nice cards back in the nineties for sure. All right, Tom Glavine. Manny Ramirez. That's a skinny Manny. Look at that guy. Skinny Manny, Darren Erstad, Andrew Jones without the weird cut, right? So we have one here where he's all miscut and then one where he's not. So you can kind of see the difference between the two cards. Uh, so I got a cool one. And then here is Jared Wright. And then Encore Homer Odyssey, Fernando Tatis. So again, that's just another base, but it's a cool looking card. So it looks like you were going to get one auto per case. So what it looks like every you know, one in 288 packs or something like that. It's like 10, 12 boxes, something like that. So it looks like autos are one per case. Johnny Damon, A-Rod. So very much an A-Rod box. In 99, A-Rod would have been the dude to hit besides McGuire and Sosa, right? Um, kind of like, he was kind of like the hot new guy. Griffey, you know, was, you know, he was 10 years old by then, right? So you had to have some new guys come in. There's a Maddox and a Bernie Williams. So again, this product seems to be, you know, um, what with a lot of stars and, and 90s coolness, so... Definitely like seeing that. Delgado, Pedro. There is another one going. See, so you can hear the cards are a little sticky now. And the packs themselves are a little sticky as well. So this product and the and the um, wrap is a little a little um, flimsy, aged, whatever you want to call it. So this product probably was not stored properly uh, through all the year so sometimes that does make the cards a little sticky Roberto Almar and there is a actual good Chipper Jones to go with my again my wonky Chipper Jones that looks like this again you can see how far off that card was cut all right we're about halfway done uh, again, you know, a lot of people, I think even in modern cards would be like, well, this is kind of boring, but you got to remember like, again, you know, this product was designed to have a lot of smaller hits. And then the big chase was the auto because autos were still cool, uh, at that point. Um, so getting them was a big deal with us having so many products that have one or multiple autos in a, in a box. Now we take it for granted how hard some autos were to pull back in the day. Here's Barry Larkin. That's a cool card. I like to see Barry. Eric Davis with his best Griffey impersonation with the shades and the hat on backwards. And Mr. Giambi. And I do like the fact that 90s cards, you know, and you'll go through my box. You'll just see, like, you know... All the products I open where I'm like, oh, you could get, you know, a one to 10 uh, or a number, you know, low numbered, whatever. It's just, they're so hard to pull. And the 90s cards are just, you know, that's why when you 
some of these cards are worth so much money. It's just they were so, I mean, there were case hits and multiple cases to even get one of these cards. And then you might get, you know, a Travis Lee <laughs> after you actually pull one of these big chase cards. Here's Joey Bell. Tatis base card. We got the old Tatis home run card. Now we got the Tatis regular. Tatis senior. And then here is the Carlos Guillen. Um, Encore rookie. So again, those rookie cards are thicker and they're cool, man. Really nice looking cards. You know, I like the foiling on it. Just really, really nice set. This uh, if they had actual real rookies and uh, this set could have been again really cool, but we shall see what we got. Maybe we'll hit something cool, something awesome. Larry Walker, Scott Rowland. So again, getting some repeats now. Jose Offerman. It looks like the inserts, if we're going to get them, are just right on the back. Jose Offerman. Darren Erstad. There's a Derek Jeter stroke of genius, so we'll put that guy up. And then there is a Upper Deck, Upper Realm. A rod. So again, another A rod. Cool looking card. Um, and that's another cool insert, but it's again A rods on the deck. Here's a G Jeter stroke that will keep that as well. Um, yeah, it's interesting. Very very um, heavy on the A-Rod. The upper room, I don't think they were big time hits in this product. We'll look here uh, real quick to see if that was a, a little bit like a one per boxer. Because there's a few one per box hits in this product. That may have been one. Um, oh, here we go. Up or Realm. Okay. Odyssey Strokes. Again, the Strokes are a subset, but they're one in eight packs. Uh, rookie Encore Insert Cards, one, two, three. Dragon Force, Pure Excitement. Upper Realm are one in 11. So there should be two of those in a box. So there you go. Not one per box. The one per boxes are the Driving Forces. The Rookie Encore insert and the McGuire insert card. So there are um, yeah, three one per boxers here. So we shall see if we get all three. Ken Caminiti. Here's Travis Lee. He was coming out at some point. Fred the Crime Dog McGruff. Here's Mr. Junior. Very nice to see you. Smoltz, and then here is a rookie encore, Jeff Weaver. So I don't think that's what they're talking about. I don't think we've hit whatever that insert looking star rookie is. Or maybe we have, and it just doesn't look cool enough that I saw a difference in it. So maybe we'll know it when we see it. I don't know. It says it's one per box. Tra Trevor Hoffman, Tony Clark, Delgado. Move on. Bobby Abreu. And another Barry Larkin. So again, we're going to start seeing some doubles here as we get closer to the bottom of the box. Um, I think it's like a 200 card set, something like that. All right. Ken Caminetti. Travis Fryman. Raw Mondesi. A lot of these, you know, horizontals. Kind of cool. Jose Canseco. That's the second one of him we've gotten, I know of. Ooh, Roger Clemens. Encore. Um, pure Excitement. 
Again, those are nice design cards. Just, you know, not hard to get. I think one, for, one in six packs, but just nice, nice, simple design. And another A Rod stroke of genius. So, there you go. Wow. This box is so, so incredibly heavy on A Rod. It's pretty crazy. Never really seen anything like it. Uh, all right, we've hit two. We've hit a Jeter and a, Tom, and a, and a Griffey. Can we hit a Frank Thomas? We'll see. Can we get a Frank Thomas? At least a base card. Here we go. Larry Walker. Jose Offerman. Mark Conce. Roberto Almar, another Chipper Jones. This is the third Chipper Jones. Or the first one was a pretty cool one. And then Star Rookie. This is El Duque, or Wando Hernandez. This would have been a much bigger card back in 99 for sure. For sure. Pretty cool. All right. Still got some packs left. We're not giving up yet. Hit something cool, something numbered, something autographed, right? Travis Lee, Fremig Griff, Tino Martinez, or at least get a Griffin at Jeter base card. Paul O'Neill, another Cal Ripken. And a John Smoltz. So that one actually had no subset cards, just a base pack. I haven't seen too many base packs, that's kind of cool. You know, that they definitely give you some things to look at when you open the product. And the base cards are really pretty. You can just see how shiny and cool they are. It's got Mike Pianta. I think it's the first Pianta base card. So maybe we're getting into some different base cards here. Maybe get me a Thomas or a Jeter here. Gabe Kapler, Koski. That one was the most stuck cards we had. I'm seeing damage, so that's good. But yeah, these are definitely more stuck than we've had in a, in a little while. Preston Wilson. Gary Sheffield and our star rookie is Joe McEwing. This guy had a little bit of fame. Remember, he he had like his little one one year in the sun kind of thing. You know, kind of cool. All right, uh, hit it when the packs are hard to open. All right. Let's go. Let's get something cool. Matt Clement. Juan Carnacion. Carnacion. Sammy Sosa. That's cool. Again, in 99, people would have been like, Sammy Sosa. Oh, that was kind of crazy. Trot Nixon and Kurt Schilling. So that's probably not the worst two cards to drop right there. Yeah, the, the, these cards in the, in the bottom of this box are definitely... A little more stru uh, stuck together, so. so that's interesting. Maybe the pressure or something like that. I don't know. Here we go. Pedro Martinez, Juan Gonzalez, Eric Davis. Okay. Again, we've seen some of these cards before. Jason Giambi, Mark Kotze, and then our stroke is Tony Gwynn. And again, that's a subset card, but they're they're in, not in every, you know, they're a short printed subset. So you only get so many of each of those in every box. All right. Scott Rowland. So this set would have been hard to put together. You had to open quite a few to get all those short prints to make your, make your setup. Uh, Jose Offerman, Roberto Almar, Jim Tomey, Homer, Odyssey, and 2K, again, this is an insert, uh, is Mike Piazza. This is an actual insert. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Down to the last four packs, it looks like. All right, there's something on the back that looks new. So we shall see what that is. There's Wade Boggs, that's cool. 
It's a new card. Haven't seen him yet. Mike Piazza, Gabe Kapler, Corey Koski. Another Joe McEwing. That's interesting. And then our... So this is our McGuire... Um, yeah, McGuire Encore, and it's got Levon Hernandez on it. Um, it is numbered 43 out of 500. So there you go. Um, again, we go back to what the odds are on those McGuire number. I don't think it gives us any sort of odds. On those cards are just listed as um, Mark McGuire, 10 Mark McGuire parallel, parallel insert cards, limited edition, sequ sequentially numbered to 500. So we did hit one of those. So there you go. That is numbered to 500. It's Scott LeVon Hernandez. So I'm assuming maybe he hit a home run off of Von Henry in this. Yep. So this is who he hit home runs off of. So he hit his 56th home run off of Levon Hernandez. So I'm sure Levon Hernandez was happy that he was memorialized on a card, <laughs> giving up a home run like that. So there you go. Our first numbered card in this whole box. So there's that. I'm sure there's somebody out there putting this whole set together. So maybe I have his last card he needs for this set there. So, all right, three packs left. So we hit a number card. So at least we did that. That's good. Now, it's, can we hit a gold? You know, the golds are number 125. Can we hit an autograph? I don't know, Tom Glavin. Andrew Ramirez, Brian Giles, all people I think we've hit before. Uh, Chipper Jones, like the fourth Chipper Jones we've hit. So there's that. Darren Erstad, and then another rookie, Caesar King. So there was one of the rookies that had the little logo here, and it was a little bit of a thicker card. I want to go through and pull that out at the end. I think that's the special one. Um, and we'll see if they're numbered because they didn't really look on the back of those. So we'll see if that's actually numbered. All right. Here we go. Carrie Wood. I think that's a new that's a new player. We haven't had a Carrie Wood yet. So these are a little sticky. Carrie Wood. Preston Wilson. This looks like an, a different pack, a different combination of cards. That's good. Get some new faces here. Oh, Gary Sheffield, we've had you before, so you're not new. So you're maybe the rest of the pack. Again, a little stickiness here in these last last uh three cards and there there we go there's one tony gwen and then who's behind mr gwen Manny ramirez home run odyssey and then another upper realm and here we got mr griffey so there we go griffey head and there it is upper realm 111 pack so it's not uber uber rare but it's a griffey head so that's my second Griffey card in the product. So I'm really excited about that. Just because I can scratch him off of any card list I had. Um, you know, like, hey, I've got that card. I don't need to go chase it, buy it off eBay or whatever. So there you go. So last pack, and then we'll go dig through those rookies to see which one was the rare ones. Because it looks like I missed those. But hey, it happens. It's only... Yeah, this is all new to me. I've never opened this product before. Here we go. David Wells, Jeff Bagwell, Randy Johnson. But she's new, and he shows him batting, which is kind of cool. Uh, Andrew Jones. Again, I'm hoping to get a Griffey uh, base, not Griffey, or a, a Jeter or a Frank Thomas base. At the very end, we'll see what we do, what we get. Ugh, this last card is stuck big time. It's Jarrett Wright anyway, so I'm not going to worry about it. And then we did get a Bernie Williams, pure excitement. Um, nothing going on that, other than a really ding corner. 
Nice. Nice. Upper deck back in the day. You still, again, quality control. All right. So let's go through these real quick. Pull out, I think, the star rookies that uh, we talked about actually having that um, other logo on them. But I think that is the cool rare ones or rarer ones, the one in 23 packs. Um, so let's go and find it because they may be numbered. I think, remember, some of the rookies were numbered out of 500. So well, I don't want to just put that in my common pile. All right, there's one right here. And I thought I hit another one of them. And I just want to pull them out. To see if one of them is, there's another one right here. But maybe if they are not special. I just want to make sure I don't miss anything in the box that would have been a hit that I should have paid more attention to. Um, yeah, Stroke of Genius. Again, those aren't numbered. So yeah, it's a lot of um, a lot of base cards, a lot of cards in the pack, um, a lot of just really um, you know nice, kind of good looking, but you know honestly, compared to what was going on at the time with Finest and Chrome and other products, I don't think it was that that revolutionary. I don't think this was like the high-end product that Upper Deck really, really wanted, you know, like, or thought they were going to get to compete with all those Chrome products, you know, just a foil board, shiny product while being cool looking is definitely, I don't think the, was the solution. Um, uh, if they were really looking for something to really compete with that, um, type of product, I don't think this was it. I don't, think they understood what was cool about Chrome or that it was just expensive and they didn't want to have to try to match it, but they never really did with any product. Um, you know, so let's see if any of these are numbered. Um, don't see it. Don't see it. So yeah, I don't think any of these were numbered. Huh? Yep. So I'm not sure, you know, what the actual one in 23, um, star Ricky was supposed to look like, honestly, like, <laughs> like, is it this guy? That he doesn't have that one in 23 or that little logo. Is this, is this the the one? It's you know this is why I don't know. You know they uh, make make it so confusing for people. They don't even know what, what's the like if it's not special enough or you just can't know it just by looking at it, then that's not a good design. If if you have to like, I think that was the you know common complaint amongst all the super short prints back in Heritage back in the day was just. A lot of them weren't special. So, yeah, he does not have the same design as the rest of them. But it, he's just missing that debut. Everyone else has the debut. Um, is there anything else different? I mean... Maybe I didn't pull one, but because they're supposed to be numbered out of 500. And I don't know where the 500 numbering would be at, honestly, on these cards. I mean, everything else is printed on the back, like the McGuire card. So I don't know. Maybe we didn't pull one. So it's just odd and odd and weird, but there you go. Um, just inserts here, pure excitement, 2K. Um, yeah, Clemens, 2K, Mike Piazza, or sorry, Pure Excitement, uh, Piazza 2K, Bernie Williams, and Upper Realm, A-Rod, um, Bagwell, Excitement, A-Rod, Excitement, and A-Rod, 
2K. So a lot of A Rod cards, like I said before. And then the kind of the cool cards that I'm going to put in my collection, the up, Upper Realm King Griffey Jr., which I really like that. It's just a nice card. Here is a McGuire number to 500. Um, insert, I don't know exactly what it's called, but uh, it's like maybe like, oh, it's just McGuired. Okay. Mick McGuired is what it's called. Ugh, puns. Uh, here is a Stroke of Genius Cheater and then a Griffey base card, which I think they look really sweet. So there it is, guys. That's my whole box. I didn't pull any of the autos. I mean, I have the big auto already right here. So, I mean, I've got the Griffey auto out of here. So I didn't you know. You know, I love to pull another one. You can see the, the staining of the box. So this was a pretty, pretty old box. It's been around probably a few flea markets um and what what have you so but it's it's fun product i reading wise um i would say you know because this was a i would call probably pretty typical box where you just get a bunch of inserts maybe one number card i would give it like a six honestly you know hitting the auto i would you know obviously give it a seven or eight but just, you know, a base box where you don't get any of the really, really cool special cards, which is going to be a majority of the boxes. Six. It, it's some fun, but a lot of base cards, uh, they don't really, they're not chrome. They're just foil board. Quality control issues like these kind of ruin the fun a little bit. The inserts, while being, you know, plentiful, aren't that unique looking. Like you just go through the inserts and they just, like the subsets and inserts look pretty similar. Like maybe this card's a little bit more design you know, heavy, but overall, I mean, it's just a lot of cards that are shiny, but not a lot of great design, no die cuts, you know, and anything I pulled, no other kind of material like foil or, or stamping. I mean, just a lot of foil. So it, it's kind of like not um, just visually as exciting as other products. So from that perspective, I think it's, it's above average, you know, six, but doesn't come to the near of what the cool cards of the nineties were by far. So not close to, to the upper tier. So there he is. There it is guys. My uh, box break in 99 encore. Uh, let me know what you guys think. And I'll talk to you next time on cards and comics. Bye.